text messages or emails, physical keys or 2FA applications. Which 2FA method is the best and why is it 2FA application or is it? Dum dum dum. Well, hello there, I'm Andrew from 2FAS and today we'll talk about four most common 2FA methods. We'll talk about their pros and cons and in the end you should know which one you should choose. Without further ado, let's jump into it. First method, text messages or SMS for short. Pros, it's easy to use, everyone knows how to use SMSs, it's almost instant. But there are some few cons. First of all, there is a danger of SIM swap scam. Basically, it's a method of stealing your number or your SIM card. I will link more details in the description, but in the end, someone can steal your phone number and receive your SMSs. Second con, it's vulnerable to SS7 attacks. What is SS7? Well, it's a set of protocols that allows networks to exchange information. And if hackers can hack to this SS7 system, he can listen to your calls or read your text messages. Third con is some apps on your phone may have access to SMSs. And so if some of those apps are malicious, they can send your 2FA calls to fraudsters. Fourth con is SMS are not free. So every service that implements SMS 2FA will have to pay for each message sent with 2FA token. And the last thing is you need to be connected to your network and have your phone by your side. Now the second method, emails. Pros, it's easy. Everyone knows how to receive an email and it's almost instant. But for the cons, well, ask yourself, do you send any passwords via email? No, me neither. It's because emails are not so secure and sending 2FA codes via this way opens the door for possible phishing attempts. And in the end, it's as secure as your email box and your provider. Second con is it works only online. So if you are offline, you won't get 2FA code. And the last con is that this method is not as time constrained as other methods. Usually your 2FA token is valid for 15 or 30 minutes and it gives a lot of time for the attacker to capture your code. Now the third thing, physical key. I know that a lot of you think that this method is the best one, but hear me out. Of course, pros, it's quick and it's very, very secure. But cons, you might easily misplace it, lost it or forget where you put it and then you won't be able to log into your service. Second con, it is really hard to backup in high availability mode. To be honest, the only way to backup your physical key is to turn on other 2FA methods. And the third thing is it is not so popular with service providers. Now, the fourth method is a 2FA application. Well, there are a lot of pros. For example, it's quick, it works offline, it works across many devices. In theory, it is impossible for hackers to capture your 2FA code. And you can easily back up your 2FA tokens with 2FA application. And the best thing is that mostly your 2FA tokens are active for only 30 seconds. But as other methods, this one is not perfect as well. It has its own cons. For example, of course, you need your phone to use 2FA application. And it's a bit tedious enrollment process. So there we have it, four methods of two-factor authentication with their pros and cons. Which one is the best? Well, it's up to you. For me, it's 2FA application, but in the end, remember, safety first. Simply use 2FA with any method you like. And that's it for this video. If you like it, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to our channel. See you!